artificial intelligence works, not by looking at the logic of a sentence, but just by seeing which letters are often close to each other and which are not. Mm. And what I argue at the end of the films is that in a way, one of the places we now find ourselves in is a world where we don't have any logical meanings any longer. What we have are is patterns. That, a bit like what you're describing with your films, is human beings can always find patterns. What they lack is the meaning behind those patterns. And that's why we feel a little bit lost at the moment, I think. And the, uh, if, the, if the name Jim Garrison rings a bell, it was, of course, played by Kevin Costner in the, in the JFK uh, movie. And uh, so it was interesting to see in your film uh, the real guy. And actually, Kevin Costner wasn't, uh, wasn't far off. Just on, just on that subject, and before we, we move on from that, you talk about that dark paranoia built into America from the start. And conspiracy theorists, we kind of, we, we know a bit about that but one of the illuminating things maybe to, that's an inappropriate word maybe the enlightening <laughs> things uh, that, that you explain is you take it right back to that kind of american experience can you just explain a little bit about that yeah i've always been fascinated by that it, ever since i it, back in the you know recently we've had this theory that donald trump was actually a tool of uh, vladimir putin yes i was fascinated because uh, in the 1950s, there was uh, lots of the right wingers were convinced that President Eisenhower was actually a Russian agent. And I suddenly thought there is this sort of pattern in America. And then I stumbled upon this book by a man called Richard Hofstadter, who argues that actually, if you go back to in America's history, right to this, what, to the settlers history, the, the, the Europeans who came in, there is a paranoia at the heart of it. And I think his argument, and, I, and other people have argued this, is that the people who came to escape from the old world of Europe to America were coming because they wanted to escape from corruption. But what that brought with them is a suspicion that there might be corruption coming to haunt them. So right from the start, you've got this sense of people wanting to create a new world, but constantly aware that the, the old forces of corruption might have come with them in some way or another. And what Hofstadter and other people argue is that actually that suspicion has always haunted America, and that you get it on that. I mean, the Illuminati was one of the first conspiracy theories in America, and I think the 1810s, that, that somehow the Illuminati were trying to undermine the government. And, and, and it's always been there, and it comes up at moments of crisis. And I think we've just seen it recently again. 